Good morning, the faith I live by, November 8th, safety and vigilance. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 6, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Ellen White speaks, I was shown Satan as he once was, a happy, exalted angel. Then I was shown him as he now is. He still bears a kingly form. His features are still noble, for he is an angel fallen, but the expression of his countenance is full of anxiety, care, unhappiness, malice, hate, mischief, deceit, and every evil. That brow which was once so noble, I particularly noticed his forehead commenced from his eyes to recede. I saw that he had so long bent himself to evil that every good quality was debased and every evil trait was developed. His eyes were cunning, sly, and showed great penetration. His frame was large, but the flesh hung loosely about his hands and face. As I beheld him, his chin was resting upon his left hand. He appeared to be in deep thought. A smile was upon his countenance, which made me tremble. It was so full of evil and satanic slyness. This smile is the one he wears just before he makes sure of his victim. And as he fastens the victim in his snare, this smile grows horrible like the Grinch. Huh? The people of God must be prepared to withstand the wily foe. It is this resistance that Satan dreads. He knows better than we do the limit of his power and how easily he can be overcome if we resist and face him. Through divine strength, the weakest saint is more than a match for him. And all his angels, and if brought to the test, he, the weakest saint, would be able to prove his superior power. Therefore, Satan's step is noiseless, his movements stealthy, and his batteries masked. Man is Satan's captive and is naturally inclined to follow his suggestions and do his bidding. He has in himself no power to oppose effectual resistance to evil. It is only as Christ abides in him by living faith, influencing his desires and strengthening him with strength from above that man may venture to face so terrible a foe. Every other means of defense is utterly vain. Hope you have a great day today. Live in faith.